George Clooney may seem to be having the time of his life in his current marriage, but very few people know the darkness of his past. In a shocking moment, his first wife, Talia Balsam, has just revealed why she divorced him, and the reason is far from regular. What secrets could George Clooney possibly be hiding about his past relationship that no one thought of? And why is Talia Balsam speaking up now that he seems happily married? Join us as we explore the mind-blowing story of George Clooney and the hidden secrets of his marital life. Beyond the glamour and the famous five-star marriage of George Clooney with Amal, the star nurtures a past that isn't so blissful. Ever heard of George Clooney's chaotic marriage, which lasted for just 20 months? This is none other than his marriage with Italia Balsam, which astounded everyone when it ended in misery. From an intense love story to a grand wedding in Vegas and an eventual depressing end, the love story between Talia Balsam and George Clooney will leave you shocked. But the question is, why did George Clooney's first marriage have to end so quickly? This question has plagued fans and critics for centuries, with none having an actual answer until recently when Talia Balsam broke her silence. Talia, who has done a pretty good job moving on since her failed marriage with George Clooney, revealed in a breathtaking moment that she holds no grudge against her ex-husband. She has recently worked on a hit TV series titled Divorce, which centers around a broken marriage. However, when Talia was asked about the relationship between her character's struggles in the TV series and her own experience in reality, her answer surprised everyone. Talia certainly did not shy away from the question. Still, she responded, if you're trying to compare George to Thomas Hayden Church's character, not at all. According to her, George is charming and remains charming. Her response sent shockwaves across the industry with fans asking more questions. What is the reason behind Talia's kind words toward George Clooney? Had their marriage been really good? And if that was the case, why did it break up in the first place? Fans were reeling with questions. Unknown to all, no one was ready for the truth. Before we discuss what really transpired in George Clooney's first marriage, Let's explore his story from the very beginning to gain a better understanding. Born on May 6, 1961 in Lexington, Kentucky, George Clooney grew up in a family already deeply entrenched in the entertainment world. His father, Nick Clooney, was a well-known television host, and his mother, Nina, was a beauty queen. From a young age, Clooney was exposed to the glitz and glamour of the entertainment world, but his road to fame wasn't as smooth as many would think. George's early acting career was marked by a series of small, often forgettable roles in television shows that barely made a mark. However, his persistence paid off when he finally got his big break in the 1990s. His role as Dr. Doug Ross on the hit television show ER skyrocketed him to stardom. The character, a handsome, rebellious pediatrician, quickly became a fan favorite. Clooney's performance earned him widespread recognition and several awards, including two Primetime Emmy Award nominations. This role cemented him as a household name. And soon enough, offers for major film roles started rolling in. Clooney's transition from television to film was seamless. In 1996, he starred in From Dusk Till Dawn. This Quentin Tarantino-written horror flick showcased his ability to play action-packed and intense roles. The movie was a commercial success and opened doors for Clooney in Hollywood. However, it was in 2001 that Clooney truly became an A-list movie star. He took on the role of Danny Ocean in the star-studded heist film Ocean's Eleven. Clooney's suave, charismatic portrayal of the criminal mastermind leading a group of thieves quickly became iconic. Ocean's Eleven was a massive hit, both commercially and critically, leading to two sequels, Ocean's 12 and 13. Clooney's charm, wit, and smooth acting made him the perfect fit for these roles, further solidifying his status as one of Hollywood's top actors. But Clooney wasn't just satisfied with being in front of the camera. His desire to create meaningful cinema led him into directing and producing. In 2005, Clooney co-wrote and directed Good Night and Good Luck, a black and white historical drama about journalist Edward R. Murrow and his conflict with Senator Joseph McCarthy. The film received rave reviews and was nominated for six Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. Clooney received a nomination for Best Original Screenplay. That same year, Clooney won his first Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in the political thriller Syriana. 
His performance as a veteran CIA operative earned him widespread critical acclaim, and the Oscar cemented his position as one of Hollywood's most versatile actors. The award was a testament to his ability to dive into complex characters with depth and intensity. Over the years, Clooney's filmography has only grown more impressive. He starred in Michael Clayton, 2007, a legal thriller in which he played a morally conflicted lawyer. This role earned him another Academy Award nomination. In 2009, he appeared in Up in the Air, a poignant drama about corporate downsizing, which brought him even more critical praise and yet another Oscar nomination for Best Actor. Clooney's talents don't stop at acting and directing. He has also earned recognition as a producer, with his most notable work being the 2012 political drama Argo, which won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Clooney produced the film alongside Ben Affleck, who also directed it. The movie's success further showcased Clooney's multifaceted skills in the entertainment industry. With a career that has spanned decades and earned him two Academy Awards, multiple Golden Globes, and several other prestigious accolades, it's no wonder that George Clooney has maintained his status as one of Hollywood's biggest and most beloved stars. His charm, wit, and undeniable talent have made him a fan favorite across generations. However, while his professional life was booming, Clooney's personal life differed. In contrast to his thriving career, his relationships were often rocky and filled with ups and downs. While George Clooney's career is a beautiful story filled with success and accolades, his marital past is far from rosy. His first marriage with Talia Balsam started early when both were still young and trying to find their way around their careers. Their whirlwind romance began in the 1980s when they were both up-and-coming actors. Talia, born into a family of actors, was already making a name for herself in the industry. At the same time, George struggled to find his big break. George and Talia first met through mutual friends in Hollywood. At the time, George was still auditioning for roles and building his career. Still, despite his struggles, Talia saw something special in him. They clicked almost instantly, and their connection was undeniable. According to George in several interviews, Talia was the first woman he truly loved. Their relationship moved quickly, filled with passion and excitement. Their hearts seemed to click together, and it wasn't long before their romance became the talk of the town. They were a young, beautiful couple with the world ahead of them, and many believed they were destined for happiness. However, despite their strong connection, their relationship had ups and downs. The couple even broke up briefly before reuniting and deciding to make things official. In 1989, after rekindling their romance, George and Talia decided to take a big step and get married. Their wedding, which took place in Las Vegas, was a grand event. It may not have been the most traditional or lavish wedding by Hollywood standards. Still, it was full of excitement and intensity. George and Talia were madly in love, and at the time, it seemed like the beginning of a fairy tale romance. But while their wedding day was filled with joy and passion, what followed soon after was anything but a happily ever after. Despite their love for one another, George and Talia's marriage began to shake shortly after they tied the knot. The bliss of their wedding quickly faded, and cracks didn't take long to show in their relationship. What had once been a passionate and exciting romance became increasingly difficult to maintain. They were both at pivotal stages in their lives and careers, and as much as they tried, the pressure of it all started to weigh on them. In 1992, just 20 months after their whirlwind wedding, George and Talia filed for divorce. It was a shocking turn of events for many, as their relationship had initially seemed so intense and full of love. Their divorce was finalized later that year, making headlines across the entertainment industry. The two parted ways without any children to show for their marriage, and the speed with which their once promising union ended left many wondering. But what went wrong? According to George, the failure of his first marriage was entirely his fault. In interviews over the years, he has spoken candidly about his struggles during that time, admitting that he wasn't ready for the responsibilities of marriage. George alleviated Talia of any blame, repeatedly stating that she had been a wonderful wife and that their divorce was entirely due to his shortcomings. I probably, definitely wasn't someone who should have been married at that point, Clooney confessed in an interview. He took full responsibility explaining that he focused more on his career than being a good husband. 
His priorities were elsewhere, and Talia, despite her best efforts, couldn't compete with his ambition. But does George's admission mean that Talia was completely free of blame? The truth, as with many failed marriages, is not so simple. One major reason George and Talia's marriage collapsed was their different personalities and circumstances at the time. Talia, as the daughter of actor Martin Balsam, had grown up in a relatively privileged environment. She had connections in Hollywood, and while she wasn't a household name, she had no trouble securing roles and building a career for herself. George, on the other hand, was still struggling. He was attending auditions, chasing roles, and trying to carve out a space for himself in the entertainment industry. The dynamic between them was unbalanced from the start. While Talia wanted a stable, normal marriage, George's focus was squarely on his career. His ambition and drive, while commendable, didn't leave much room for a healthy relationship. At that time, George didn't behave like a typical married man. He would attend parties, events, and industry functions, living as if he had no responsibilities at home. His commitment to his career far outweighed his commitment to his marriage, and it wasn't long before their relationship began to deteriorate. In fact, many people in Hollywood were shocked to learn that George was even married, as his behavior and lifestyle didn't reflect that of a married man. Another issue arose as George's career started to take off. His popularity with women, Clooney's rising fame made him a favorite among female fans, and his charming, handsome persona only added to the strain on his marriage. Rumors were circulating in Hollywood then that George wasn't entirely faithful to Talia. While no confirmed reports of cheating have ever surfaced, it was well known that George enjoyed the company of women, and his increasing presence at parties and events didn't help quell the rumors. Whether there was any truth to these whispers or not, it's clear that George's lifestyle and growing fame heavily strained their relationship. While Talia may have tried to keep things together, the growing attention George received from women and his dedication to his career created a rift between them that they couldn't repair. Reflecting on these moments, George explained that he was simply bad at marriage. He acknowledged that he wasn't mature enough to handle the responsibilities of being a husband. That realization, unfortunately, came too late. While surprising in its swiftness, their divorce didn't end in bitterness. George and Talia could move on without harboring any ill will toward one another. In fact, Talia has often spoken kindly about her ex-husband, once again surprising fans. Despite the tumultuous end to their marriage, Talia has always maintained that George is charming and that their difficult split was ultimately for the best. For Talia, life after George Clooney has been nothing short of fulfilling. She married actor John Slattery in 1998, and they have one son. Talia and John have shared not just a personal life, but also a professional one. The two starred together in Mad Men, portraying a married couple. Their on-screen chemistry was evident, reflecting the real-life bond they had built over the years. Talia's second marriage has been happy and lasting, and it's clear that she has found the love and stability she may have missed during her first marriage. While Talia found her footing in love again relatively quickly, the story for George Clooney was not as smooth. But then, the George Clooney who had been married to Talia Balsam is clearly not the George we know today, who is the husband of Amal Alamuddin and a proud father. So what really happened to turn things around? Following the tumultuous end of George Clooney's marriage to Talia Balsam, many assumed that the Hollywood star would have learned from the experience and eventually settled down. But George had other plans. Rather than jumping into another relationship or looking for stability, he made a decision that shocked everyone. In interviews following his divorce, Clooney publicly declared that he was done with marriage. I was bad at it, he said, bluntly admitting that he had failed as a husband. As absurd as this sounded to many, George was serious. And for years, he stuck to his word. He embraced his bachelorhood and became one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors. For decades after his split from Talia, George kept his distance from marriage, even as he was seen dating some of the most high-profile women in Hollywood. His charm, good looks, and undeniable talent made him irresistible, but George refused to settle down. Instead, he dated women like actress Kelly Preston, British model Lisa Snowden, and even Italian actress Elisabetta Canalis. There were many flings and relationships over the years, but nothing seemed to stick. Despite the swirling rumors and endless speculation about his love life, 
George kept his personal life out of the spotlight and remained committed to his bachelor lifestyle. His reputation as a ladies' man grew with each passing year, and it was easy to believe that George Clooney, the eternal bachelor, would never walk down the aisle again. His flings with some of the most beautiful women in the industry convinced many that there was no hope for George when it came to settling down. But just when the world had given up on the idea of him ever finding lasting love, something happened that shocked everyone. George Clooney met Amal Alamuddin. Amal, a highly accomplished human rights lawyer, was not your typical Hollywood starlet. In fact, she was far removed from the celebrity world that George had been surrounded by for so long. When they first met in 2013, George and Amal were introduced through a mutual friend at Clooney's home. George later admitted that he was immediately taken by her beauty, intelligence, and passion for the causes she championed. Unlike many of the women he had dated, Amal was in a league of her own, and it didn't take long for George to fall head over heels. The pair began dating shortly after that initial meeting, and George quickly realized that this was different from any relationship he had been in before. Amal wasn't interested in his fame or fortune. She had her incredibly successful career and didn't need anything from him. This deeply impressed George, and for the first time in decades, he found himself thinking seriously about marriage again. Just a year after they met, George proposed to Amal in the most romantic way possible. He had cooked dinner for her at home, and he surprised her with a ring after the meal. Amal was caught off guard, but she said yes, and the world was soon buzzing with the news that George Clooney, the man who had sworn off marriage, was finally ready to settle down. Their wedding, which took place in Venice in September 2014, was nothing short of a fairy tale. Amal's wedding dress, a stunning custom-made Oscar de la Renta gown, made headlines worldwide. The wedding was a star-studded affair, with Hollywood royalty and international dignitaries in attendance. The couple exchanged vows in a beautiful ceremony at the Amman Canal Grande Hotel, with the picturesque Venetian canals serving as the perfect backdrop for their big day. It was a wedding that captured the hearts of many, not just because of the glamour, but because of what it represented, a complete transformation for George Clooney. The man who had once vowed never to marry again had found true love and wasn't afraid to show it. But what shocked the world even more than George's marriage to Amal was the news that followed a few years later. George Clooney, the perpetual bachelor, would be a father. In February 2017, the couple announced that they were expecting twins. This revelation took many by surprise, as George had been vocal about not wanting children in the past. However, becoming a father changed everything for him. In June 2017, Amal gave birth to their twins, Alexander and Ella. George was stepping into a role he never thought he would, fatherhood. George has spoken openly about how being a father has transformed his life. He never expected to become a dad, especially at his age. Still, now that he is, he can't imagine life without his children. In interviews, he's described how much joy his twins bring him and how he loves spending time with them, even if parenthood can be exhausting at times. George's newfound role as a father is something he takes seriously, and he often gushes about how his priorities have shifted since the birth of Alexander and Ella. The Clooney's family life is not just about parenting, though. George and Amal have a wide circle of friends, including some of the most influential people in the world. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are two of the couples they're particularly close to. The two couples have supported each other over the years. George and Amal were guests at Prince Harry and Meghan's royal wedding 2018. George and Amal were seated in a prime position at St. George's Chapel, and their attendance further cemented their close friendship with the royal couple found over the years by living beside each other in England. Following the royal wedding, George and Amal hosted Harry and Meghan at their home in the Lake Como. Amal and Meghan enjoyed a relaxing day by the pool during the visit. At the same time, George and Harry engaged in more physical activities like biking around the estate. Their friendship has grown over the years, and the two couples frequently support each other in their charitable endeavors and public appearances. Despite the whirlwind romance and the undeniable love between George and Amal, their marriage has been without challenges. George and Amal lead incredibly busy lives, with his acting, producing, and directing, and Amal with her demanding legal career. One of their biggest challenges is how little time they spend together. 
Reports suggest that George and Amal spend only about 10% of their time together daily due to their hectic schedules. This has been a struggle for the couple, as maintaining a strong connection while constantly being apart can be difficult. Their busy lives were highlighted even more when it was revealed that George would be away for an entire year due to a filming role. While George was on set, Amal stayed at their beautiful home in Lake Como. The home, which the couple renovated together, is the perfect retreat for Amal and the twins. Still, George's absence for such a long period will no doubt be challenging for their relationship. Despite these challenges, the couple continues to push through. George and Amal have always been open about the importance of communication in their relationship, and they remain hopeful that they will find a way to make things work, even during separation.